Hello everyone, you are watching ITV Gold and I'm your host Aditi Lama with cameraman Raja Bhatti and today I am so excited to have one of our ITV Gold, Parikh Wai Media's favorite, favorite artist. She's a film actress, she's a television actress, but she's also an internationally renowned Kathak dancer. She has actually represented India on many international platforms and it brings me great joy to introduce her today as a celebrity guest of honor and a celebrity guest and judge for Dance Pay Chance 2020 competition being hosted by the Federation of Indian Associations, FIA. Today, we get to go a little bit more into why Prachiji is so, so, so dedicated to dance. So let's welcome on the show, we have with us Prachi Shapandia, internationally renowned Kathak dancer, also a film actress, a television actress, someone who's truly dedicated to art and so much more. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar. It's so nice to have you here. As I tell you, you're one of my favorite, favorite artists to speak to and to stay connected with because of this love for dance yes. and the love for art and how you just always want to stay connected to all forms. So today, when we're here, you know, on this amazing day for Dance by Chance and FIA, tell me, um, you know, what are you looking forward to in terms of dance? Uh, so many students today. Yes, I know. I'm yes. really looking forward because uh, FIA has been telling me the number of entries that they've had over the years. And, and this year they have like various categories, age group categories, right? Yes. From the youngest to the oldest. And uh, looking forward to uh, a, lot of, a lot of young talent. Looking forward to seeing a lot of uh, amazing dancers that I've been hearing from the organizers. Yes. And uh, a lot of these various um, choreographers who are also having a classical background, hmm. which is what I understand. Yeah. So, yes, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing um, a mix of Bollywood and classical, if hmm. I might say, and a little bit of folk. So, let's see what is in store for me this evening. You know, Prachiji, uh, the contestants you will see today and the dance schools you would see, um, and I can almost guarantee for that too, they're one of the most prime dance schools in the entire state of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And we have so many Indians living here and South Asians living here. It's possible for us to actually celebrate it and have them compete with each other. Your take on the amount of talent that you've heard about, and, and do you think it's very important for you know dance to have that space no matter what country we are in of course I think every um, every country comes with its own talent and right. its own space and its own identity mm. and like I said uh, there's such a huge this is this literally feels like uh, New Jersey literally feels yes. like India yeah. <laughs> on the whole uh, you have like Gujaratis and you have Punjabis yes. and you have a mix of practically every every community here mm. and uh, yeah, yeah we have I think they've maintained their own space hmm. and um, uh, like I said, it is it is so Indianized here that it doesn't really make me feel that I'm in the United States. Yes. So, uh, like I said, they're, they're sticking to, uh, let me see how much are they really going to be sticking to the classical days. Yes. They're going to try their best, that's what yes. they said. And uh, nevertheless, at least they're attempting, which I hmm. like. Uh, and it's not just uh, extremely Western oriented, which... Um, which has no trace of Indian. Yeah. Obviously, that's not going to be the case because they're going to use Bollywood music and yeah. different kind of folk music. So, right. So yeah. You know, um, when I'm talking about your, your dance career and dance life, last time when we spoke, we spoke about you know, the importance of your guru and also um, everything that was happening around dance and how important it was for you to represent India and other places, the Guinness Book of a World Records. So this year with 2020, I know the Instagram has been definitely graced by your dances. Randomly, we get to see it. But um, what is uh, for your agenda for dance this year? What are you looking forward to for yourself? For this year? Yes. I'm working on a new concept uh, with a couple of uh, co-musicians, hmm. uh, which, which is going to be very different. So I'm hoping that that's going to be a different attempt for me this year. And of course, a couple of uh, two very important festivals coming my way, which um, I would have loved to speak about but yes. once I confirm them, yes. uh, which are two very prestigious festivals in the country. So I would want, I'm hoping that I'll be a part of that. And a lot of work coming up. Uh, I'm doing a, a web series on Amazon Prime. Oh, wow. Um, uh, another film, Lakshmi Bomb, which yes. releases on 22nd of May. And yes. another film in the pipeline, which is being offered to me, which I should be shooting, filming in the month of April and March. Yeah. I would love to know whatever details. Mic, in all, Petalis Chakar hai. 
just mentioning the Amazon project obviously and your new movie that's releasing in May I would love for you to give us as much information you're allowed to give um, also we are seeing so many Indian film and television actors take on web series and sort of like go into the digital space uh, what kind of created that change of uh, you know thought process of transferring media across everywhere I think that's the trend these days. I mean, the web series is a trend, and yeah. uh, because people um, they don't have time, so this mm. is one way of connecting with your favorite show at your particular time. Yes, uh, it's not like you're depending on the program being aired on a television channel, and I guess that's one of the reasons why web has taken on the way it has. And of course, the content, yes, uh, the availability at your time. Third, the uh, various kind of stuff that's on the yes. platform. And for an actor, I think it's more interesting because it's a shorter term commitment. Hmm. You're done in about three to six months oh, wow, on an average. True. Uh, you're not like it, it's not like a soap opera that goes on for like seven years. Like you know. that's true. Yeah, that is so true. So, yeah. So tell us about this amazing project. It's coming on Amazon Prime, as you I said. I really can't speak much. You can't much. No. Okay. Could no. you tell us about the movie? Um, yes, the movie is. Uh, I said okay. Let me tell you. So yes. The Amazon Prime uh, project is based on a book which is called Dongri to Dubai. Okay. Uh, that's all I can say. Okay. So you can just go and find yes. out what the book we'll is all find about. We'll go find out. And uh, the film is uh, it's called Lakshmi Bomb. It's hmm. a South remake. Um, with a South director called uh, Mr. Raghav Lawrence wow. and uh, it's headed by of course the Akshay Kumar and uh, the re it's releasing on the 22nd of May and I'm a part of it, a very integral part of it. So, wow, so yeah. when do you guys start the promotions? Soon, we're still Soon. filming so I'm here, I go back and I'm filming so wow. yeah, over the week, uh, the last week of uh, you never yeah, stop yes. stop working, Prachi. No. You never stop working. You go from television to movies, then you go back into dance, or dance is always there. Always there then yeah. there's singing. Yes. Um, why? I, I just would love to know what is one driving force right now for this year. This is a lot happening. You have a big movie coming up, the web series. Driving force for coming here. Yes. I think uh, the primarily the organization yes. FIA, and I would like to thank uh, Bharat Goradia, who yes. is one of the Bollywood's uh, famous. Uh, promoters yes. in USA uh, who's always been supporting me and my art and thank you to him to have brought me here and to have introduced me to the FIA organizers yes I think FIA is doing a brilliant job hmm. uh, of connecting so many Indians across and keeping the art alive um, I, uh, like I said, driving force is dance. Yes. Dance being a very integral part of my life. And I think when people call me uh, primarily as a Kathak dancer, yeah. as a dance based actor, yes. uh, it gives me immense pride. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm really humbled. So uh, that is my driving force. And, and I love to see this talent. You know, I actually go back learning so much more. 
uh, when I see so many new choreographies mm. on stage, you know, some because it's it's an art field yes. where um, it's it's immense. You just get to learn so much. Yes. Uh, and some of these dance schools, Pachichi, they that is their life. They are running yes. a twenty four seven dance school. Yes. Yes. Uh, there are teachers, there are directors, they're all you know South Asian, and and that is their life. Yes. Like that is you know their living, and and to see that in New Jersey it has always been such a strange experience for me. Yes. And I'm sure it must have been a strange, a very interesting experience for you as well to know that. Yes, yes, of yes. course. I'm just getting to know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all of them. Yes. Um, you know, I would, I would love to talk to you about something real quick here. It was your birthday about a month ago, yes. and I saw some articles on it, and there was a beautiful song which featured you, your husband, Sonu yes. Nigam. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the song because we're definitely going to show a little bit of so, that here. Oh, sure. So my, yes. uh, my husband uh, Vishwas Pandya had yes. written the song when we got married, hmm. and he had composed it, and uh, I didn't know he planned this surprise for me. Uh, so Sonu is a really uh, 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 good family friend yeah um, and he's known us ever since we got married uh, Wow! so I think my husband decided to surprise me and he got this um, the song that he had composed uh, he yes. wanted to get him to sing it yes uh, he's legendary <laughs> the legendary Sonuji and uh, I'm really humbled again that uh, he agreed to do so and uh, it's just turned out to be so nice the most emotional gift I've ever received in my oh. life yeah. are we allowed to show it a you, little bit? You yes. Could, you could. We will yes. tell all our viewers what the song is because I heard it a couple it's of times. It's on YouTube, so you yes. can always, yes. Yes. Khubu surat ik safasa Kuch padha kuch an padha sa Maano jaise asuma par Kuch likha tha Tufano mein एक दिया सा थोड़ा ओझल कुछ जिया सा सोचा न था ऐसा होगा कभी जिंदगी में तुम मिलोगे रंग सारे एक छवि में सौंधे सौंधे कुछ जमी के पंख जैसे थम गए हूँ एक परी के सनातों में बज उठे हूँ जैसे घुंगरु अब खुशी के सोचा न था ऐसा होगा कभी जिंदगी में तुम मिलोगे कहीं तुम मिलोगे कहीं तुम मिलोगे कहीं your husband is a filmmaker. He's done some incredible works as well. Um, is are there any projects that you would like to tell us about? What we can look forward to for his work, or for anything him? for the audience? Uh, yes. His film, his film Baba Black Sheep, that he had written and directed, yes. is on Z5 on this platform, so it's available to watch there. And he's already just finished scripting his second one, yes. which is a hardcore mainstream Bollywood uh, movie. Yes. And another one that he's uh, co-producing with T Series is a film called. It's a remake of Chupke Chupke. The oh, old wow. Chupke Chupke. Yeah. So that's what's in He's doing a lot of work. Yeah. You guys are like a big packed family, family yes. team, just yes. making lots of content. Yes, yes. How's your daughter doing? She's doing good. She's doing She's good. Doing good. Yes. Is she also She's involved in arts uh, of any kind? She's a gymnast and she loves to dance. Yeah. So yes, so primarily uh, more of the Western jazz. So um, A lot so of the young talent is going to watch you, especially all the contestants. They will go back and watch this whole uh, you know coverage that we do. Um, you know, for people that really want to pursue the arts, and want to continue it and also stay here or even go back and forth a message as a uh, you know a strict disciplined dancer what would you uh, you know some key tips that you would like to share I think just um, on I believe you, you you guys need to just concentrate on the art hmm. uh, practice and um, 
I just enjoy it rather hmm. than doing it under pressure and you know under any kind of compulsion. So you know when you enjoy what you do, it just shows in your body language and your expressions, and you know it comes effortlessly. So that's all. Yeah. Complete the sentence. Kathak to me is is my life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. One last message for our audience, all your wonderful fans. Okay, um, all I'd like to say is uh, thank you so much to have loved me for so many years and uh, all I expect is the same amount of love and probably much more for the forthcoming years and your blessings uh, so that I, I kind of keep getting inspired and motivated to do more and more better work in uh, all these respective fields that I'm in. So thank you so much once again. Namaskar. Uh, first of all, a huge, huge, huge round of applause for everybody who was on stage. All the choreographers, I must say, what a brilliant job. Uh, this is one of, uh, I mean, I've judged a lot of competitions back in India, and uh, I think this by far made me feel, uh, I mean, all, uh, one word if I have to sum it up, I, I would say just brilliant. Honestly, uh, it has kept me awake in spite of the jet lag and how, and how. I mean, there, are, there were two performances which uh, I really hope uh, they win. Uh, but it was a tough one. Trust me, it was a tough one sitting there. And uh, thank you so much once again, if I do have invited me here. Um, about myself, well, I think uh, all that I can say is I've been blessed to be an artist. So I would like to thank my parents and my gurus uh, who've made me capable of standing up here today on stage in front of you. Um, as far as my Guinness World Record goes, I remember attempting it uh, it was a very interesting episode I must like to share. Um, this was after I delivered my child. My daughter is about 11 now. And uh, this was when she was just one and a half and uh, I had this opportunity to attend this record. And the first thought that comes to your mind, if, to I think anybody's mind when you have to do anything out of your zone of comfort and the first thought is that no, it's not possible in such a short time or you know, I'm not prepared for it. I'm sure in any task that's given to us, but I think what, uh, primarily my father uh, plays a very, very important role in my career and in my life. Um, he said, you know, if you don't attend this, uh, I don't talk to you. And when he means, when he says something like that, he means it. And my mother's pretty used to this because all my life I've grown up with such kind of limits given to me. And uh, I had about a month and a half to prepare myself for this record. And I remember when I used to practice, uh, Besides dance, as a child, I used to always spin. But what you really need to do in that one minute, uh, I have really worked hard. I, you know, when I when I used to practice at home, I used to do almost 100 in a minute. And when I actually attempted it, I landed up doing 93 because they made me wait for almost six hours before I attempted it. But that was one and a half spins per second. Is when I realized that the kind of lung capacity you need for that is to tremendous amount of hard work and core training that I went through. Then again, my gym trainer helped me and of course my guru who uh, just passed away eight months back who was my major, major support system. The technique of taking a spin. So yes, um, I guess all I can say is nothing in this world is impossible. It goes to all of us. Uh, never, never, never underestimate your own, um, your own strength to start with. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's been a great experience uh, working in the film industry, in television. As I said, I am God's lucky child. I'm just simply blessed and I thank God every second of my life for it and my parents. Thank you so much.
Thank you.